Okay, now everything is working very well. What I want you to do is, I want you to try and create another ontology about sports. Uh, the ontology will have two main classes, favorite sport and person, and then favorite sport will have two subclasses, indoor sport and outdoor sport, and then person class will have two subclasses, lecturer and uh, student. And then we'll add object property has favorite sport with domain person and range favorite sport uh, and then we'll add a few individuals uh, we'll create one individual table tennis of type indoor sport and then rugby of type outdoor sport and then we'll create a new, a new another new individual lecturer one of type lecturer and another one student one of type uh, student and then what we can do is we can add object properties so for lecture one we can add object property assertion has has favorite sport uh, table tennis and for student one we can have we can add object property assertion has favorite sport rugby so we save the ontology locally and then we upload it somewhere make it available online somewhere and then we can query it uh, along the one that we created uh, well, along this one here, the, pre the university uh, uh, ontology, we can query both of them uh, at the same time. So I have uh, created one locally here. I'll open it now so you can see it. Do you want to open ontology different current window? We will say yes, no problem. And then the one I created is on my desktop, so I can go on my desktop. And I named it Sport. This is what it looked like. Uh, this is where I'm going to place it. IRI, uh, www.metaxar.org slash ontology slash uh, sport.owl. We own this uh, website, so I'm going to place it there. Notice that it's very different now than the one I, I used previously. The, the one I used previously, I pl uh, previously I placed it on my own personal web page. This one here is a totally in a totally different place. Uh, in my classes, our favorite sport, indoor sport, outdoor sport, person, lecturer, student, and then object properties uh, has favorite sport. Uh, no other properties. There's no need for that. No need for that. And then individuals, uh, we can lecturer one of type lecturer has favorite sport table tennis rugby is of type outdoor sport student one is of type student and has favorite sport rugby and table tennis is of type indoor sport make sure you save it I'm saving it as uh, as I said before uh, sport.owl and I'm going to place it as you can see there on http metaxar.ontology.sport.owl so placing it now, we we'll go to uh, uh, FileZilla again quickly. We we'll go to FileZilla, and then we'll go to uh, FTP dot meta xar dot org. My username is meta xar dot org xar or qsar. The uh, and then my uh, password here. And then this FTP so port 21, we connected nicely done. And then I can go. Uh, I placed it on my on my desktop at this time. So I go to my desktop, and I can find uh, sport.owl, and then place it on folder ontologies. Place it there, overwrite because I have uh, put it there previously. So I'll say okay. It's done now. Available now. Uh, online, I can go there and double check if you want. So we go to metaxa slash ontologies ontologies slash what am I doing slash sport.owl as you can see it's there now our ontology is there now uh, and, then, and then we can query it using Jenna Foseki as we did previously and what we'll do now we actually query both the both uh, of them the two the two uh, ontologies that we created the university one and the Support one and we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time